Hey everyone, Alexa here. So today we're going to do a candy cane and peppermint inspired makeup look. I'm just putting on some moisturizer and everything that I am talking about will be listed down below. And then after moisturizer, I'm putting on an eye primer. You can skip this step if you want. And now I'm filling in my brows with a white cream pencil by NYX. And then I'm tight removing my lower water lash line with just some white pencil. And on the top lid, I am using just a very bright, vibrant red by Sugar Pill. But like I said, everything I am talking about will be down below. And after I'm done putting that all over the lid and crease and transition area, everywhere except the brow bone, basically, I am taking a white liquid eyeliner by NYX. I'm just putting this on over a couple times just so it's really, 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 really vibrant. When you put it on first anyway, it's really vibrant, but I just wanted it to be extra vibrant. And then I just kind of fluff through the brows, and now I'm just taking that red on an angle brush and just kind of making some strokes, some basic red strokes, just like a candy cane, like a peppermint. And then I'm taking that white eyeliner, and it is eye safe, so I'm using this on my lashes. I curled them, and now I'm putting my foundation on using my moisturizer as like a primer. I'm taking an angle brush and getting the red right up close to my eye, just not putting it where the white is in the waterline. And then I'm going to smoke it out as you can see there. Take it down almost all the way to the socket. Or, no I didn't even take it that far, I took it like midway. Now I'm taking that same red color and kind of diffusing it. I used a silver glitter to highlight and I also filled in my the apples on my cheeks with a white color. I started off with a darker red matte liquid lipstick, um, one that'll dry matte, and now I'm filling it over with a red. I should have started off and took it off with a red first, but I uh, wanted to keep going. So you got to let that dry at least. I let it dry for five minutes, just so the liquid I like the liquid liner will go on nice. And I'm just making some uh, stripes down the middle kind of fanning out to the sides. I really didn't know what I was doing. They kind of look like teeth. It's a little scary. And I was like, you know what? Fine. We're going to go scary with this look. So I popped in my white contacts. So that's all I'm doing for this look right here. I went a little gung-ho as you can see on that one side. But otherwise, the stripes are pretty even. I tried to even it out there, but it just wasn't working out. I should have taken a uh, a red color and just kind of worked it through. But And then I left my lips open, gave it sufficient time to dry. And no, I'm not naked at this point. I'm wearing a little bralette. I felt like my neck needed a little bit more. I really liked the look, but I was like, this needs more. As you can see, I'm wearing my bralette there, so I'm not... Nakey. So I just took that, um, it's a my Isom brush, and I just took this red color down my neck. It's actually Sugar Pill. Um, I'm not quite sure what the eyeshadow is called. I think it's like called Flame Plus or something like that. And it looked uh, really kind of just grotesque on my neck because I didn't fill it in like completely even. And then I just took it, it's kind of um, I feel like circus inspired too. But, you know, definitely Christmas because Christmas is Bay. Just taking this down. And I filled in my shoulders a little bit right there. Just making it look kind of creepy. Not super even. I'm not, I wasn't really worried about that. I just wanted it to look um, better than what I had. I felt like the neck needed something. I only do this about in about like a half hour. This is a really simple, easy look. I'm just messing around there, and I couldn't really see what my shading and like what I was doing with these white contacts. So, as you can see, some parts are more shaded than the other, but I like this a lot more. Very, very creepy. So, if you guys have any other suggestions for future pretty videos please leave those in the comments down below i'd love to get to them and i'll see you in the next video bye